It's your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is the CNO Hinton, episode 29. Uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, and the last time where we left off was we were drilling uh, this line of cars with Thomas, uh, this latest cut. Uh, oh, got loud all of a sudden. Uh, come over here, and we'll go like this. And then we're going to have to go like this. So the first thing we're going is hitting fruit and produce. That's going to be track one, isn't it? Uh, of course, this is, the, this is the cliffhanger one. I forgot about that. Yeah. When I told you you had to wait, that really blew huge. But now, uh, yeah, here in Hinton, where, where am I looking at? Here we go. Yeah, Hinton, track one. In fact, both of these uh, reefers are going in there, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. Okay. Got here, we got here. Let's uh, get it underway. We're going to leave this up because I got to see where all these got to go. I need that switch list. Uh, let's back it up. But technically, it hasn't been sitting very long, so we're not going to blow the whistle or the horn or anything. You you know. Here we go. Back this up. No, 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 no. There we go. I didn't want to walk, I wanted to fly. Why walk when you can fly? All right, here he comes. We're going to hook it up to this nickel plate right here. He's struggling a little bit. With his dual 44 tonners. There we go. Nice. There we go. Shove this back to here. Going to clear that frog with that second reefer. And there we go. Second reefer cleared. All right. There we go. Apply it. Uncouple. And now these are going to Pax Peabody. Where it at? Well, let's not go forward because we know we got to go forward. It's not on this track. Uh, let's see. Uh, what can I, oh, there is PAX is track five. Track five is where we're going. Come back around this way. There we go. Snap it right there. <laughs> Those brakes are singing. All right, four. Here we are, track five. All right, let's grab back onto this again. Let's ride it on in. Now, how many of these cars are going on this track? Well, let's take a look at it. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. And then there's another, should be another uh, reefer. Yeah, it's going back on track one. Okay. I got it all under control here. The amount of coke. Correction, now I'm out of coke. All righty. This yard's starting to fill up. Maybe we'll get some locals running. I haven't run a whole lot of locals on this map yet. Tidewater, that's all we do. And you, Omar, I was so far along uh, that uh, you know, I played so much before I started filming that it, it had a lot of uh, stuff in the yards right from the get. Tidewater and Sino, I started with nothing. No, that's not true. Sino did have some. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so let's take this back down to 35% again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then it throws me out in the middle of the new river. Perfect. Okay. Back this one up. 
Just until that reefer hits the frog. And there it is right there. Okay, apply, uncouple, and now we're going to track one. For this one here, and then after that, it looks like we're going to New River. And New River is track two. Very good. Now, is this reefer full? Yes, it is. It's loaded. All right, let's go down here so we can gauge when to break. Go put on some brakes now, a little bit of auto. And just a touch of Indy, you know, for flavor. go beautiful bring it back this way now he's handling this like a champ then we're headed to track two for those new river minings then we're headed back to this track for uh Hitting freight. I think that's a box car. And not a reefer. Well, a reefer kind of is a box car, but you know what I'm you know what I'm saying. An unrefrigerated box car. There you go. Now I got it. There we go, and then suddenly I forgot who I am. Actually, we're going to go right here. We've got a little bit to go here. Stop it right there. Apply it, and let's pull it forward now. We're headed for track two. There's track two right here. <clears throat> Our conductor will switch that right away. Come back over here. We'll walk back around this way, right over here to this switch. Stop it. And now we're going to ride this one in. Why not? For a little bit anyway. Then we're coming back to track one again. And then Nelson is what? Nelson is track three. That's what drilling's all about. Coal cars are going to go onto this track. It's not a box car. It's a flat car with some lumber on it. That's what's going to Hinton Freight. P 
PM. What does PM stand for? I'm looking at it right up here. Um, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre Marquette. That's what it is. Pierre Marquette. See right there. Pierre Marquette. All right. We'll stop that right there. This is headed for track one. Apply the handbrake, decouple, and get some. Now we're going back to track one. And then to track three. go back this way Oop, now it hasn't cleared the rest of those cars off my switch list let's let's can i do that now no no don't do that oh yeah i do do that oh, i gotta be here there we go now I cleared them off There we go. Stop it right there. Apply it. And then take me forward. And these last ones, I don't know why I got rid of that. Uh, because I already know they're all going to track three. That's why I got rid of it. All right, so these are all going to track three. For Nelson. Two. Track three. Right here on the track three. Looks like it's got a lot of cars on it. These are going to be ready to send out soon. Soon. Go. Lash them up here. Push them. Another six or seven cars added onto this, getting it closer to being long enough to pull it on out. We're not going to send a steam engine up into the hills. If it's only got like five or six cars, we're going to wait until we get the maximum number of cars. All right, stop it right there. Easy. Fly. And then move forward just a tad. There we go, about 10 feet is what's considered to be a tad. Okay, uh, so that uh, ends Thomas's turn. That's it. Uh, I'll put you guys on pause. I figure out what we're doing next. I'm also going to get myself a uh, Coke.
Hey, bartender. Piper chip needs a refill. I got me a Coke Zero and a real nice view. Isn't that nice? I like it a lot. All right, so we're here with Graham. Uh, Graham uh, was working several industries here in uh, Hinton. Uh, and he's got them all done except for this one right here, which is the Hinton hardware. Uh, they just unloaded the uh, lumber from these two cars right here, from these two flat cars. So now we're going to have him unload the next ones. And although this is his last job, uh, he's as far as the industries he's working. Okay, no, 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 there you go. Uh, he also is going to have to go over to the repair yard because there are one, two, three, four cars that need to come out. Looks like four cars that need to come out of the Avis uh, repair yard and pull them back up here to the reclassification track. Oop, oop. Didn't pull too far, did we? We pulled too far, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Move it this way now. You can do it. That's good right there. Okay, now we're going to apply. Decouple. And look out. Okay. So he's got to run all the way down to Avis Yard on the other side. Uh, am I recording right now? Yeah, yeah, I am. That's good. Uh, so we could stop. Him. <coughs> Excuse me. Could stop him uh, right here, right? Do a shortcut instead of going all the way down. It'll be a little bit slower of a ride. Hmm, 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 hmm. Because uh, if we send him through, come on now. There we go. If we send him, we can't send him there. Can't send him here. But we can't send him here either, can we? There's a train here and there. Yeah, there is. So he can't go on any of these. He'd have to back up to here. And then, uh, we'd have to go this way and this way. You could pop through here, right? Overflow? Yeah, you could pop through the overflow line. And we'll just send him back down through that way. Okay. We'll have to wait for that crossover track. That should get it done. Coming down out of the uh, Hinton, uh, up Hinton Hill here. This way, this is the one he's got to clear. Here he comes. You can hear Thomas. There we go. So he's going this way, he's going this way, and he's going over here, then he's going onto the overflow track. Now we gotta run down here with the overflow track. Uh yeah. And then could he go straight? He might be able to. Uh let's see. He's gonna end up on the same track no matter what, right? Yeah. But we're gonna run him straight anyway. Uh uh oh. <laughs> Is this the overflow track right here? Do they mark it here? I did not mark it on this end. Okay, it is, it is the overflow track. Okay, I thought it was. Just making sure. Come here, then we'll keep it straight, just so we don't have to go through all those switches. Uh, then here, then here. Then he's going to go. Yeah, that is correct. Then he's going to come here. Then, nope. 
I'm going to run past the passenger station. Here, 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 here. No. And then this way. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, my brain's working right now. Because there's other, there's other cars down here that are done. He, while he's down here, you might as well pull them all, right? Look, there's a Y here. Have I noticed that before? I don't know. Um, yeah, he might as well come. He's got these cars here. He's got this car here. Yeah. 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 We'll have him pull the cars that need to be pulled out of here first. And these cars here just got dropped off. I think he's responsible for these, too. Okay, Graham, you got a work. You got a job and a half awaiting you here. We're gonna run you over on the other side there, and work, 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 work. Got me a new a new Coke Zero, so I'm good now. You know you're a hero if you drink Coke Zero. That is good. Big empty yards. Yeah, there are the two signs right there, and these two cuts are getting close. Taking a while to fill these yards up because they're so huge mungus. But I got nothing but time. Nothing but time. See, this is telling me the yard track that we're on now is 15 mile an hour. I'm assuming they're all 15. And those are the two mains right to our right there. Step back from the track, people. Yeah, so we'll start on the far end, and we'll just start pulling cars from all the various industries, plus the ones from the uh, from the car repair, and we'll just start pulling them all this way. So I'm going to have to do a run around the ones from the stockyard, uh, the ones from Ball Lumber, and the ones from uh, Repair Yard. We're going to run around on all of those. There we go. Now, see, it's not going to tell me it's faster, but I know that it's faster. It's 20 mile an hour out here. We'll juice it. We also got to go down here because there are some cars down here that had to be uh, collected as well. It's collection galore is what it is. I'm like a kid on an Easter egg hunt, except that I have a map to where all the Easter eggs are. our level crossing. Nobody's there. That guy from the last episode evidently got to leave, so that's nice.
right through the gantry. These are coming up yellow. The approach. Here's the Avis yard. Take a look at it. Incoming on these four tracks, outgoing on these five tracks. Loaded coal. I remember loading those coal. We, we filmed that, and that was a while ago. I mean, a while ago. Now, the Easter egg hunt does take us here to the yard, but I don't have a map as to which cars. I mean, I know the numbers of the cars that need to be pulled, but I don't. I don't know exactly where they're at. So we're going to do a little bit of hunting and pecking here. And we're going to have to pull those two cars there as well. Two box cars that are sitting there. yet. There it is. Uh, yeah, let's, let's work the Avis Yard. I was thinking about going down there and getting those other cars. No, 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 no. Uh, but now I'm going to work the, I'm gonna work the uh, yard here. First. So I know these cars right here have to be pulled. These two right here. These are the first two we're going to lash on to. Watch it, guys and gals. You get hurt by these things. They don't call them 44 tonners because they weigh a couple pounds. Okay, so we got these two. Uh, let's kill the bell while we look. Uh, so let's see now. What do we need? Uh, we got flat car 16584. Uh, there it is right there. 16584. Isn't that nice? Then we have stock car uh, 95188. Uh, 95188. So that's that one right there. Am I going to remember all this? Well, these are remember what line they're in right now. Uh, and then we need uh, Gondola 744.85, which is probably this one right here, right? 744.85. Yep, they all seem to be in this line here. Uh, and then there's one more, which is Boxcar 220089. 22. No. Of course, that one's, oh, maybe it's this one. 20, no, this one's going to be in the other line. 8-6, there's 8-9. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to back up here. I suppose I could pull the box car out first. It's not going to hurt anything, right? We got two. We just need more. <laughs> and 
and we just crossed the 30 minute mark here in the video. <clears throat> There we go. There we are. All right, now this boss car here is the last one in the line, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. So, uh, right, 89, is what I said? I said 89, yeah. Uh, so we'll pull it out. Put the box car here, shove these back in, and then go get the box car. So it's not a complicated move. Got him. Let's pull him backwards. Uh, now, uh, let's go. This one here is going to have to be re-tagged. Right? Tag it. Uh, they just come down here, and we're going to hit none. And then the one right next to it is also going to be tagged for none. So tag it. And then just hit none. Or I could have typed in none, either one. Now, the rest of these, we're not going to re-tag because they just came here. They still go to the same destinations. They're just sitting here to get repaired. Their destination does not change. Okay. go there's that we're gonna shove this forward temporarily put it onto this track Boxcar 220089. Go. Right there, ought to do it. Apply it. Decouple. Back it up. And we're just going to shove these right back down where we got them. So they can continue being worked on. Hopefully none of the uh, trucks are being worked on. Because if they were, well, we probably just screwed that all up. Then again, the guys down in the yard told me to come get them. So that's on them, not me. I'm not here to inspect the cars. I'm here just to move them around. Grab onto this one. Here we go. All of them except the first two. The two closest to the engines. go.
And let's fly around here now so we can get a good view. We'll probably stop him. We'll stop him down here by uh, Fred and Jerry here. There you go, boys. Get back to work. There we go. We did it correctly. Nice. Now we got to go back and recapture this box car. Or, yeah, this box car here. <clears throat> There's one down, four to go, and the other four are all in line here. Sure wish that bell would, uh, you know, get quieter with distance. <laughs> it really doesn't on these engines for whatever reason. Here we go. That's probably this is gonna be the most complicated stuff to pick up here. So because we gotta shuffle, we gotta you know shuffle the bad cars out of the way till we find the ones we want. This one uh, is a little more time consuming. Got to clear the second switch here. Oh, there we go. Tree, tree was in the way. Now, this one boxcar is set off from the rest of the cut by a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have to make two uh, pickups here. Yeah, two, uh, two hits. Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. It's that engine I made from uh, Beckley. It's finally arriving. Even the cows are happy. They're mooing their delight. Okay, but well, I probably should be looking at this, right? Yeah, okay. We'll see it come by over here. Yeah. I'll stay up high so we get a good view of it going by. This is to replace the train that Thomas just uh, finished drilling. Okay. We got to back this out. Probably should have blew the horn there. Yeah. Give him a little bell now. Sorry to anybody that, uh, you know, lost parts. Right, did we pull the whole cut? Yes, we are. I think the first one is the gondola, if I'm not mistaken, right? There's only one gondola on this cut. Let's make sure again it's the right one. It should be uh, 74485. 74485. Alrighty, so we're going to go here and then here, yep. And then we'll start shoving them onto this track here temporarily, all the ones we need. I hear that engine go. I want to I look at it. Look at it. Pulling quite a bit. Should have a caboose on the end. Ooh, that's a long train. Let's go look at the caboose. Where it is? Where is it? 
Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, good. That's one way in the in the arrow when they use cabooses because uh, sometimes uh, you know switches will go underneath some of the trains in in uh, in this game and you'll lose cars you don't know it, but in this one, you know you got all the cars if the caboose is still on. <laughs> so it's like uh, it warns you. Okay. I know we need a stock car, too. Is it this one right next to it? We'll have to take a look at that. There we go. This one, this one, this way. Okay, so we got that one. This is stock car. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 188, I thought it was, right? Stock car. Yeah, so we, these both are going to go on there. And then, uh, do we need this? Uh... No, so we have the stock car. So let's see, we already pulled the box car off the other one. That was 89. We have the stock car and the gondola right here. Then the last one we're going to need is going to be the flat car. Okay, so just these two got to be dropped off there. Come on, tree. All right. This tree's playing one-on-one -on -one defense right now. The rest of them are all playing zone. But that guy there was playing one-on-one. -on -one. What the? What happened here? Some erosion. Uh, have to fix that later on. That ain't right. Okay. Cows are going wild. Slow it down. Of course, I didn't even need to push them that far, did I? Sure didn't, because we're not going back down this track before we get out of here. Ah, what are you going to do? Okay, so let's apply it. Of course, now I can shove the cars down here. It'd be a shorter trip. So it kind of does work out. So we got those two. Now we need, the last thing we need is a flat car, which is, uh, I guess this first one, isn't it? Uh, 584, is that what I said before? Yeah, 584. It is the first one. Uh, and then that's it. We don't need this one here, do we? No. Okay. So let's, uh, pull back now. So now all I'm going to do is clear this switch right here. So I inadvertently did a good thing. I was thinking these are to shove back onto this trap. Well, why? I just shove them over here. Why not? So it is good that I put those back there. See, see how it all worked out in the end? That's just nice. Okay. Here we go. We'll shove these down till the first one. The one's closest to the engine. Right? <laughs> I can't remember. This is uh, 584. It was the first one, right? 584 was the first one? Yeah, okay. What am I freaking out about? Come on back over here now. Let's look from this side. So we know when we have enough track clearance. down here that's the one we need right there that's enough clearance between this track and this track right here huh I think so apply then go backwards We 
Wait till we clear here now. And then forwards. Beautiful. <clears throat> now, technically, we could cram, cram them down this track here. I'm not sure there's going to be enough room. There's probably enough room for all of them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure. I mean, it's going to be the shortest thing to do, right? So let's do it. What the heck? Why not? What difference does it make? Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. So we pulled this one out of the yard, which is 98, or 89, I mean. Then we pulled this one out of the yard just a second ago, which is, uh, 584. Then we have 188, right? Yep. And then we have the only gondola there was. Let's worry about the number so much. Okay. There we go. Now we can ride this one up to here. I didn't switch yet, did I? know? okay. I did. Ride him into this one right here. go then we're gonna ride these into this one down here we got more stuff for you Fred and uh who was it Jason <laughs> I don't know can't remember can't remember the names I made up Fred and somebody Oh, no, oh, forgot who I was. Okay, now we got to be careful. It should be enough room. It's quite a bit of track there, right? Uh, And I'm going up to here. Yep. This car is going to be shoved down to there. And, you know, I should have done this. We should have this on because there are people near the tracks. Here we go. Oh, man. Something I'm worried about it not being long enough. Go right there. What do we got? Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. A little bit further than I wanted it to. All righty. Here we go. Nice. So we got all four out of there. One, two, three, and there's one in front of them, which is four, which is that flat car with the lumber on it. Plus, these two cars got picked up from uh, over on this side because they were being unloaded here. As you can see, their goods are still sitting on the uh, unloading uh, ramp there. So that the fellas here in the repair yard can actually repair stuff because I got equipment and, uh, you know, consumables that they need. Alrighty. There we go. No, 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 no. Here we go. And this last move will complete the extraction of the four cars. That's nice. There we 
go. And... Boom. Okay. It's also, not only is it the end of the extraction from the cars, but we're also going to extract ourselves from this video because we have run out of time, folks. Yep. Sorry to say. Uh, I hope you had fun. Of course, if you made it this far in the video, you probably did have fun, right? If you're hearing me say this right now, you must have had fun. Or, I don't know, maybe you're one of my competitors and you're trying to find out what I'm doing on mine. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we're not really competing against each other, are we? No, not really. But anyway... Thanks for stopping by, folks. I really appreciate it. I hope you did have fun. Uh, why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Uh, why don't you leave a comment? Uh, when we do the next episode, which will be episode 40, we will com uh, start off with Graham again. He's got cars to pick up in different places. We'll run them all back up to the uh, hitting yard. And if you don't like all of that, you're thinking to yourself, episode 40 don't sound so good. Well, this just may not be the channel for you.